Hello guys, this is Maro from Printfotech.com and on this video we'll look at the new changes included on Windows 10, Build 16.291 and Build 16.294. These new test versions of Windows 10 are part of the uh, Fall Creators Update which is expected to release on October 17, 2017. As Microsoft is currently in the stages of finalizing the update, there are no new features or big changes, only a few new improvements. Now let's have a look at the new worthy improvements on these releases. In previous builds, Windows 10 introduced a new feature in the settings app that allows you to link your iPhone or Android phone to your PC so you can send articles you're reading on your phone to your PC on Microsoft Edge. Although this feature has been working for a while, Starting with Bill 16.291, this feature now works through Cortana. Another minor change on Windows 10 Bill 16.294 is going on, on apps and apps for websites, where now you're going to see a list uh, with more uh, associated apps with websites. In this case, for the um, uh, Word mobile app from Office. Another interesting improvement coming on the Windows 10 Fall Creator Update, which I think has been introduced in previous bill, but I uh, haven't seen them until now. And I think it's been overlooked by um, many by many users. But now when you go to network and internet, and when you go to Wi-Fi, and then you just go to let me just see if I can connect to a network. Now clicking on the uh, network. Now you will see that there is a new IP settings that allows you to edit the uh, current IP assignment. And this allows you to change for, from DHCP uh, to manual. So you can turn on and off the um, IP address version that you want. For example, uh, IPv4, where you can set uh, an aesthetic IP. Uh, you can also do the same for the IP, uh, the IP address version 6, which is really interesting because we didn't have that before. And, and the, uh, the user interface still looks like the uh, old Windows uh, 8.1 version. What's also interesting about this feature is that it only appears for the um, uh, for Wi-Fi networks. If you go to an Ethernet and you just try to do the same, you won't find that option. And that's basically all that's new on Windows 10, built 16.291 and built 16.294. Overall, the update feels uh, stable and more ready for daily use, but it's still not recommended to install the um, on this new version on your primary machine as you may come across suspected problems. Case in point, Windows 10 Build 16.294 fixes a bug that made Surface Pro 3 devices unbootable in previous builds. So as you can see, it is recommended to run these test previews on a spare PC or on a virtual machine. Remember to like the video, leave your comments, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet. And I just hope this video was informative for you, and I'd like to thank you for viewing.